Saturday. We're getting some dinner. We got the taro kateri, which is our favorite usually. And I got a Greek salad with my meal, so that's gonna be yummy. Okay, I got the gyro plate. I see my Greek salad. And Mike got the gyro and souvlaki combo, I think it was. My french fries. Oh my. This looks awesome, but also like a tunnel. So I realized that was kind of a weird start to the vlog that, oh, hey, we're out of dinner. But uh, we were on some super secret missions earlier today. So I did not vlog any of that, but we're back home now in pajamas and comfy clothes. And we have a special guest with us this week. So everyone say hi to Miss Heidi. Hi to Hada girl. <laughs> Are you so excited? Oh, never mind. Okay. Heidi, you already ate dinner, hon. Dinner's over. Girl, oh the helicopter! Are you so excited to be back with me? Don't you love me? Yeah. Heidi girl loves me. So we were gone for a while. Pops are glad to have us home. I'm gonna probably watch some live PD and relax. I wanted to at least say hello. It's Saturday. It's a new week of vlogs, and probably pick this back up again tomorrow. Dinner was delicious. That was a new place we hadn't been there before. Super, super yummy, so. So, hello, happy Sunday. I am off running errands. I am at the grocery store right now. Gonna get our groceries for the week, although we have a bunch of different plated recipes because we got a box last week and I haven't made any of them yet. I put all the meat in the freezer because I knew we were behind. So we've got like five different plated meals for the week, but I still have to get stuff for Mike's lunches and all that stuff. So grocery store time. Grocery shopping is done and decided it was a salted cream pulled foam cold brew day again today, even though it's really hard to say. I'm making Thai beef red curry with butternut squash and bell pepper from plated. So here's the finished product. I realized after I already put the beef into the curry, that I made a mistake because I replaced the beef that we received last Saturday. <laughs> and so I had a full pound of beef. And of course, since it's only for two people, they do not send you a full pound of beef. So it's extra beefy. We have a lot of beef left over, not as much curry sauce because the beef kind of soaked it up, but still tasted really good. Just not quite the same like soupy curry texture that it would have had if I hadn't added too much beef. So, pretty excited for it anyway though. Got one dog ready for TV watching. We got a second dog t ready for TV watching. Two dogs are missing. Mike is missing. But we're gonna start Westworld tonight. So let me know if you watch this. We've never watched it, but we've heard good things. So, giving this a shot. So hey guys, happy Monday. It's been a strange day. Uh, yesterday it was like 90 degrees in Texas. And then this morning it was really muggy. And about 10.30 we had the crazy cold front come through and now it's 59 degrees. So it is drizzly and rainy and cold and actually finally really feels like a fall day. So very excited. We're having brown butter gnocchi with butternut squash, walnuts, and sage. For the last time. Shush! Shush! Don't give away my movie magic! <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> oh, the helicopter tail. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. The helicopter. So yeah, I may have forgotten to film that. So, uh, yeah. That's movie magic for you. Here is the final product. Smells super, super good. Pretty excited for it. Chloe McFoster's excited for it. <laughs> Going to be yummy. So my Ipsy arrived today. Said, Who said nights were for sleep? 
I already opened my items. I got a highlighter and this eyeshadow, which is a really pretty color. Super excited about this. I've actually heard really good things about this Shape Tape Tarte Concealer. And it looks like it's my right color. So I'm excited to try that. Which I'm pretty sure I've had a mask from the same brand before, but it was definitely not this large of a sample, so that's nice. Never heard of this brand before, but Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. So, pretty excited. I need to check out the color of the highlighter, but this is pretty much worth the thing itself, for sure. So, so that's the highlighter. It says it's pink pearl is the color, so let's try it out on my hand. I think I'm going to like that. So... There you have it. Okay, so I'm watching Dancing with the Stars, and I have a question. It's trio night, and the majority of the trios have either, like, basically, like, all-stars from previous seasons, so people that came in, like, second or third or won their season. And then you have two couples who ended up with friends of the people that are competing. So the girl from Harry Potter, um, Keo, and... Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. Her friend danced with them. She's another Harry Potter actress. And in their case, it kind of worked out because she made Luna look really good. And yes, I keep calling her Luna because I, I cannot remember the, her name for the life of me right now. But in her case, it worked out because her friend kind of messed up a few times and it made Luna look better because you could see how much better she was doing versus her friend. But I was kind of like, okay, why is everyone else getting like all-stars? And then she got her friend. And then Jenna and Grocery Joe, his trio partner, was another bachelor person. Now granted, it's probably Grocery Joe's time to go regardless. But I don't understand why he just got stuck with a friend as opposed to someone that's actually done Dancing with the Stars. Because in his case as well, the friend really messed up and... The dance was just really painful to watch. They got terrible scores, and I'm pretty sure he's going home anyway, but I don't understand why everyone else got really good competitors. And then I think the last one for the night has Maddie Ziegler. So <laughs> you've got actual dancers and or all-stars, and then two dancers got stuck with people that they know in real life who have never danced before and have never been on the show and never had the pressures of dancing live. So, strange. Heidi, are you also bothered by this unfair production choice? Anybody else? Peanut gallery? No? No one else is bothered. Mike is at hockey, by the way. <laughs> Oi. Well, I just checked the P.O. box and there was another surprise item from Moose Toys, and this one's gigantic. I don't know if you can tell. It's like sitting in my passenger seat. It is massive, it's like my entire torso. So I guess we'll find out what's in there when I get So hey guys, happy Tuesday. It's a lovely 60 degree day. It's been awesome. I'm wearing my sweater, very happy about it. Heading home from work now. Uh, like I said, I went to the P.O. box and I got this exciting package to open when I get home. So pretty stoked about that. Mm -hmm. Gonna make some dinner. That's about the level of my excitement for today. I was just very curious as to what this was. So it looks like there's some more Disney Dorables and like a whole Disney Dorable massive box. So okay, I came in here because Mike is playing video games and the dogs were refusing to not drink water. So I want to show you what they sent me. And because it was sent to me, Again, I have to do the whole legal aspect of saying that I did not pay for these. These were sent to me for the purpose of reviewing. I have not been paid to do this video. Opinions are all of my own. Thank you to Moose Toys for thinking of me yet again uh, and sending me these prizes randomly. Again, like I had no idea this was coming. So it's a nice surprise to receive in my P.O. box. Hashtag not an ad, just a review. And this is why I couldn't film out here. All the dogs. Every single one of them. Are you serious? This is what I just told them. I told them I couldn't film because of this. Okay, so the main thing that was taking up so much space in the box was this massive Disney Dorables set. So it's got Alice in Wonderland, Belle, and Elsa in this massive set. So there's no hidden ones in this one. It's just the the ones you can actually see. 
There's Belle and there's Elsa. So that set, and then they also sent me a few of the stackable ones, which it looks like I got Lilo and Boo. And then another Alice in Wonderland. There's Rapunzel stackable. So these come with a bunch of accessories. And then they also sent me four mystery box ones to open. I think this one is by far the cutest one. All the little Alice in Wonderland details are really cute. So I'm guessing you can combine these with multiple sets together to make a big village of some sort. So I will see who I got as my mystery item. Okay. In the first one, oh, it's Goofy. There he is. Roz. Oh, it's Pinocchio, but he's changing into a donkey. <gasps> oh, is it Pua? Is that his name? Pua. So cute. I love Pua. Not for you, Ash. Not for you. Not for puppers. Not for puppers or for very small children. No. So there you have it. There's my four unboxed little Disney Dorables. So kind of like my last video when they sent me some Dorables to unbox. I think for me they're just a little too cutesy for me as a collector to want to save for myself. However, my friend Erica, who you guys just saw in last week's vlog, she has a five-year-old daughter and I plan on gifting her this set. I actually have my previous set to gift to her and I think she will love them. So someone made the comment the last time that they wouldn't be good for very small children, so I agree, they do have very small pieces, so not for little, little children, but for her five-year-old who's in kindergarten, I trust her not to eat a little tiny frying pan or a little tiny guitar that's one of the pieces. And for her, she will love this. She will love unboxing the little things. I mean, everyone loves unboxing, and the last time I did the video, a lot of you said you were interested in them for yourself. So again, it's all just personal preference. For me, I think it will be great for her daughter. Thanks again to Moose Toys and Disney for sending those along. I know that my friend's daughter is going to be elated to <laughs> receive those as a gift. I don't know if you can tell in the last clip, but my face was turning bright red because I was still wearing my sweater inside. And it was uh, quite toasty because it's 60 degrees outside, so our AC hasn't been on at all, so it's just kind of warmer than usual in the house, and oh, it feels good. <laughs> I was trying to unbox and stuff before I changed clothes, and I was crying. I'm out of my sweater into t-shirt and shorts, and I'm out here in the 60 degree weather like, ah, cool me off. Cool me off, Breeze. Yeah, that's the nice thing about fall and cool weather is you can just come outside and cool off when you need to and it feels awesome <laughs> so now i'm gonna go make dinner which is probably not gonna help with these rosy cheeks but needs to happen we're having herb chicken with mediterranean rice salad and feta it's wednesday huh? <laughs> you're a liar <laughs> everyone's gonna know by your outfit <laughs> how often do i have the same things two days in a row that is true you're, that is true but no it's tuesday colby's in the exact same spot as he was they can watch back the clip and see Okay, Maybe Alpha. This is all Wednesday. Alpha, do whatever you want. What? Maybe this is all on Wednesday. Oh no. Maybe you forgot on Tuesday. This is inception levels now. Now we've gone too far. <laughs> plan. <laughs> I got through all the chopping of all the vegetables and then started seasoning the chicken and the chicken, one of the chicken breasts had gone bad. Or at least was questionable enough that I was not going to serve it to us and I'm definitely on the air of caution side but considering I had two chicken breasts and could compare the two, one was a different color than the other one. So, so much for that dinner. Now we're gonna go get food because 
that was at least 30 plus minutes of my time wasted. So, time to go pick up dinner. Good morning, Houston. So foggy, you can't even see the tops of the skyscrapers. So hey guys, happy Wednesday. On my way home from work, had to go in early this morning downtown as you saw. So I get to go home early today too. That's exciting, so yes, home a little early. I thought our dogs were bad about begging. This one is just as bad, aren't you? I won't let you have evidence. <laughs> yeah, she's been pawing at me or kind of stomping on the ottoman, pawing at me, and she actually just barked at me trying to get dinner, but guess what? It's only 4.30. You don't live here. Why do you assume that me coming home means you get dinner? You've only had that for like th two days. These guys I understand because it's part of their routine. I come home, they get dinner. You've only been here for two days where I've been at work. Foster meanwhile, trying to get dad's attention. You must wait. It's not time yet. You have to at least wait until five. Good boy. Good boy. What is it? Wiggle butts? <coughs> Uh huh. See? Video evidence. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. You gonna start pawing at me again? I'm gonna move my leg right here. See what happens. There it is. That's what I'm waiting on. You have not looked at her. Mm-hmm. Excuse you. Excuse- Wow, ma'am. Wow. <laughs> ma'am. It's 4.40. Colby, you're the least begging of all of them now. Even you're whining. Oh my goodness. You're my one non-beggar. Don't start. Oh gosh. I'll just take all the rubs, Mom. Oh my gosh. Everyone is a mess now. Heidi barked. <laughs> and then Mike barked. Oh, <laughs> oh that was good. And now everyone's lost their minds. What you doing, Ash? What what you doing? Who's in there? What's in there? I am being crazy. Oh no. Yep. So uh this is why we don't need to have kids, because we literally have four at the moment. No kids necessary. I just want the blanket, man. That's all. Oh. <laughs> Survivor. Reaction. Crazy things are happening. Three tribes now. Tribe. Two people quit for injuries. Tribe. Well, one got pulled. Your one quit. This is over the course of the season. Craziness. So happy Thursday. I went and got my nails done. That is it, Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. <laughs> Practically Friday at this point. <laughs> I got my nails done. I didn't have a time to show you the before because I was running late to my appointment, but they are nice Halloween sparkly orange. Love it. Hi, dear. Hi. Hi, cutie pie. Hi. Hi, Heidi. Heidi. Look at what's. Colby. Hi. High fives. Oh, <laughs> you missed my hand. That's my stomach, but. Look at that. The high five goes here. Are you gonna give me something? Otherwise, I don't perform tricks. <laughs> You're no joke, but I love you. All right, oh man, I didn't, I had a really cute shirt on today. My first time wearing it. One of my new shirts that I got from Kohl's. So it was one of my fall shirts. And I didn't vlog before I changed clothes, but now I just look normal, disheveled in my Epcot shirt. <laughs> Home and comfy. And uh, ready to discuss a little bit of American Horror Story when we get back. We're going to go get Mike some dinner. 
and we need to discuss horror story. Hey guys, happy Friday. I was a big fat liar and did not talk about American Horror Story last night <laughs> uh, because I started watching like pretty much uh, everyone else in the world, in the YouTube world. I had to watch the end of the Jake Paul Shane Dawson documentary and so I got swept into Jake Paul land <laughs> and got super involved in the hour and 45 minute saga that that was and did not vlog at all last night. So American Horror Story, the only thing I'll say about that because my camera battery is about to die, of course, is that this season is awesome. I love the crossover with Murder House and Coven. Just so good. I still don't see how this isn't the finale feels like the finale but I'm loving every second of it so heading home now gonna get a new fresh camera battery and then Mike and I are going on date night because it's Friday night date night date night time for some curry we can have the curry wind mm, it smells so good and of course Mike got the usual which is normally what I get <laughs> but I branched out today it's a rainy night here in Texas. Clearly Colby and Foster are very bothered by it. He's doing okay because we haven't had any thunder yet. And I just have to say that was probably the craziest live PD episode I've seen in a long time. And I was talking to the mister from the Double Dose the whole time. He and I were watching it together. Crazy night. Part is the tongue is sticking out while he's chasing whatever he's chasing in his dreams. His tongue is sticking out. Get him, Colby. Okay, guys, so that is going to end this week's vlog. It's Heidi's last night with us. She goes back home tomorrow, so I don't know if she'll be in the vlog next week or not, but we do have other special guests that are coming this next week, so. That'll be fun, and uh, yeah, secrets, 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 and I'll see you guys in next week's vlog. Bye!